four to the Haven's Chantry. Here. Cutscene. Where's my armor? It's stopped spreading, and it doesn't hurt. We take our victories where we can. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Clearly, you have something in mind. We do. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. Uh, likewise. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. Anderan Atishan. You speak Elven. You've just heard the entirety of it, I'm afraid. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes. Tactfully put, Cassandra. That's an impressive bunch of titles. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just... No. Nope. Fuck the Templars. Power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. They still think I'm guilty. That is not the entirety of it any longer. Oh. Some are calling you, a Dalish elf, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading. Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. Yay, I am Jesus. How do you feel about that? Hmm, I kind of like it, but it's unnerving. It's a little unsettling. <laughs> I'm sure the Chantry would agree. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol... Clinging to straws. They aren't more concerned about the breach. The real threat. They do know it's a threat. They just don't think we can stop it. The Chantry is telling everyone you'll make it worse. Oh, there that's nice. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. Oh, <clears throat> that would be good. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for Redcliffe? To expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. Side quests. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. Why well, does this feel like civilization? <laughs> my military advisor, my cultural advisor, science advisor. 
Mm. The relevant side of the table. To move this. Chancellor Roderick came to speak with me. Could you try not to antagonize him? If I offend the man so easily, perhaps he should try leaving me alone. <laughs> hmm. This is interesting. If Giselle dies, any hope of challenge with support dies with her. My scouts will slip past the fighting, find her, protect her with their lives. So, and this is the first thing, of course, so you can't do anything, but in later games you can choose what, how you approach these situations, so that's nice. So let's just go with that thing that we have to do. Oh, and we are in the action already. So this is my the scout's point of view, I would presume. We have to still travel there, right? The apostates are mad. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> okay. Not really yet. Yeah, these are advisors, <laughs> as I said. Okay. Missions may also provide a different reward depending on which advisor completes them. Okay. So I don't. Can I do any of these? Rescue soldier missing for Elden. Do I. Can I do any of these right now? Gather coin. Hmm. Hard in High Town Three. <laughs> Hard in High Town Three. Very ends coming to the theaters near you. I need a favor. Actually, let's go alone. From my editor in Kirkfall today, she tells me that Hard in High Town Three is very punchy. <laughs> very punchy. <laughs> Uh, the print from an Antivan printer a couple of weeks ago. I'll give you a moment to contemplate the horror that is that title. <laughs> the pun the re punching. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah, Liliana, go do it. It's important. So, I guess I can come back here when this is done. I'm gonna go do something else as well. Contact Clan Lavalan. Clan Lavalan offers greetings to the Inquisition. We sit in the well and see in the breach that has opened in the sky. While some dailies clans hate humans and wish nothing to do with them, Clan Lavalan has always dealt fairly with all. Okay. 
member of our clan is being held captive by your inquisition. He went to the conclave only to observe the peace talk between your mages and templars. Okay, quite a highly unlikely. She intentionally violated your customs if she has been charged with crime. We appreciate hearing of it. If not, it would ease our concerns to hear from her. Do you know that she remains with the inquisition of her own will? Well, let's put our diplomat. No. At your service. Go and do that. Let's see if we can boot the, our third guy also. Yeah. Address a nobleman concern. Yeah, let's. I don't care about a lord. A turn of high haber. Hmm. No, yeah, let's do that then. Okay, so now we have. Now I can go and explore a little bit. I'm not going to fast travel yet. Because I still want to see if I can explore this area. Any doors here that I missed? Not really. Press option has like a quest map in the hero menu. Quest map. Quest map. Oh, you just press it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I just want to see if I can go and explore. World map. Explore this area, because I want to see what's in here. I might not be able to at all, but I'm going to go and check. And there's stuff here. Loot. At least for 15 minutes, so we can... I can see what... Stuff happens with those. Um, besides, I might find quests in here. Inspect requisitions, no schematics. Okay. Thanks for checking anyway. Heaven has been filled with silence. Sorry. If you're here to clean, Hess can get you a bucket and a broom. Anyone calls you knife here, come to me. Oh, you're her. Thren, Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. Yep. We're stretched thin on materials, so I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site, maybe Harriet can get our troops better weapons. If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. Interesting. Make a go with you. So I have iron and I have to find a logging stand. And that's a good quest for us. Find log. Find wood. Oh, now that I can open this door now. Oh. It's a tavern. Oh, there has to be something in a tavern. Long day. I can't see the thing that. Oh, a book. A tail. Gather round. Gather round. To hear the tale of the frostbacks. Even mountains had a heart once, when the world was young. Kor, the mountain father, kept his throne at the peak of Belenas, the mountain at the center of the world, from which he could see all the corners of earth and sky. And he saw strong men become weak, brave men grow cowardly, and wise men turn foolish for love. Korth devised a plan that he might never be betrayed by his own heart, by taking it out and hiding it where no soul would ever dare search for it. He sealed it inside a golden cask, buried in the earth, and raised around it the fiercest mountains the world had ever seen, the Frostbacks, to guard it. But without his heart, 
the mountain father grew, grew cruel. His chest was filled with bitter mountain winds that shrieked and howled like lost souls. Food lost its flavor, music had no sweetness, and he lost all joy in deeds of valor. He sent avalanches and earthquakes to torment the tribes of men. Gods and men rose against him, calling him a tyrant, but with no heart, Korth could not be slain. Soon there were no heroes left, either among men or gods, who would dare challenge Korth. The Lady of the Skies sent the best of her children, the swiftest, the cleverest, and the strongest flyers, to scour the mountains for the missing heart, and for a year and a day they searched. But Sparrow and Raven, Vulture and Eagle, Swift and Albatross returned to her with nothing. Then the Potomigan, Potomigan, Potomigan spoke up, and offered to find the God Chief's heart. The other birds laughed, for the Potomigan, it's a tiny bird, too humble to soar, which spends half its time hopping along the ground. The lady would not give the little creature her blessing, for the mountains were too fierce even for eagles, but the Pardemagen set out anyway. The little bird travelled deep into the frostbacks. When she could not fly, she crawled, she hugged the ground and weathered the worst mountain winds, and so made her lonely way to the valley where the heart beat with all the gods' terrible deeds. The heart was far too heavy for the tiny bird to carry. So she rolled it, little by little, out of the valley and down a cliff. <laughs> when the golden cask struck the earth, it shattered. The heart was full almost bursting, and the pain of it roused the mountain god to come see what had happened. When the court neared his heart, it led back into his chest, and he was whole again. Then Hakon Wintersbeth bound Korth's chest, and Korth's chest with three brands of I bands of iron and three bands of ice, so he could never again escape. And all the remaining gods named the Potamigan, honored upon even the loftiest eagles. But Potamigan, an Averdale from Ferdinand. Potamigan. Resources found me on health, food, and iron. I found stuff in the book. Okay, let's talk to the. Oh, Maker, you're here. You're the Herald of Andraste. Yes. Mistreating the elves. Yes. I, I pay my elves good and proper, you should know. Friend of the alien, did you all? And I mean, I'm Flissa. Can I get you a drink? It's all right, Flissa. I won't do anything frightening. If you wanted to close the breach, I wouldn't mind. As I said, I'm Flissa. The Inquisition soldiers needed a place to unwind, so Leliana brought me in to set up a tavern. Oh, that's, this is really nice. But it's safer for the soldiers than looking for trouble in some village. You said Leliana asked you to run an Inquisition tavern. How did you meet? Dumb luck, mainly. I managed an inn back in Denerim. When I heard interesting gossip, I passed word to Liliana. Sometimes it was helpful. She asked if I wanted to own my own tavern, and I said yes. I didn't realize she meant this. What can you tell me about this area? Adan is Haven's apothecary. He's been making potions and tending to the wounded as best he can. Harrit is the Inquisition's smith. Whatever he can make you, friend the quartermaster can probably find. And for anything fancier, you can try buying from Segret. His prices aren't too high. Yet? Uh. Oh. Me she studies beasts and things. Where is she? She like sounds interesting. Farewell. Oh, song. I will not unwind. So. The subtitles are not coming up. They will end decree a man will retreat. Uh, the game here, so I'm trying to sing and no, you're awful. Stop it.
what am I wearing now? Apprentice code. I don't want to wear this. Thank you. Accessories, yeah. Yeah, I have two life for ammo what's already. So it was like also a quest. I sit down somewhere and just listen to tavern songs. Oh. Her fingers. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna come back here though. <laughs> no quest though, because that's unfortunate. Well, I didn't listen to investigate. Okay. Leniana is ready with her report, so I can go and check that now. Okay. The singing maiden. If you are watching this, you can tell me if I should stop reading those things, or at least out loud. Well, I probably won't stop because I enjoy it, but you can still say in the comments what you think about it. Summon the war council. So Leliana, I think you have done it. My dear Leliana, your author friend is truly a mystery. Our search uncovered only a string of foreign accounts. The trail of coin led from Antiva to Tevinter to the free marches in Ole. Someone hit their tracks well, but not well enough. Your writer is in Kirkwall, and remember, you owe me a favor. We got an amulet of power! In progress. That shouldn't take too long anymore. Two minutes. Uh, we're gonna wait for that. I'm not gonna force you to wait for it, but...